Have you ever wondered what would happen to your wallet if we defaulted on our debt? And no, I'm not talking about your credit card debt, although you should work on that. First, let's understand what the U.S. debt ceiling is. The debt ceiling is a legal limit set by Congress on the amount of money the U.S. government can borrow to finance its operations and meet its financial obligations. In other words, Congress called their credit card company, asked for a credit line increase, and said they'll pay it off later. And I mean later. So what about the immediate effects on your wallet if the U.S. defaults? One immediate consequence is a loss of confidence in the U.S. economy. When the government defaults, it sends a signal to the global financial markets that we are unable to manage our finances effectively. This can lead to a decrease in investor confidence, causing the value of the U.S. dollar to decline. The declining value of the U.S. dollar has several effects on your wallet. First, it can lead to higher prices for imported goods. Since the U.S. dollar is worthless, it takes more of them to purchase the same amount of goods from other countries. This can result in increased costs for everyday items such as food, gas, and clothing, squeezing your budget ever so tightly. Second, interest rates may rise. As the government's credibility is questioned, lenders and investors will demand higher interest rates on loans and bonds issued by the U.S. government. This can affect your wallet in multiple ways. For example, if you have variable rate loans, your monthly payments could increase, putting a strain on your budget even more. Imagine paying more interest on your credit card payments, car payments, mortgage payments, and student debt payments. At that point, good luck having anything left in your wallet. Finally, let's talk about the stock market. A default can lead to market volatility and a potential decline in stock prices. This could take a toll on your investments, retirement savings, and even pension funds. Say goodbye to early retirement. Are you worried about the U.S. defaulting on its debt? What do you think Congress should do about it? Leave a comment below and we would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more informative content.